I'm going to be saying the top five things I absolutely hate. Now, before we get into any of them, I want to say something. So, um, the way I decided to record this video was I was just thinking about some random stuff that I really hated, and then I was like, hey, I could actually make a video on this stuff just for the just for the hell of it of it. And um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, like, the first two or three things I was able to think about, I was able to get down really easily because they were in my head before I even decided to make this video. But then the other, like, two or three things that I had to think of that were, like, for the other two, for, I think it's five, they were, like, impossible to think of. But eventually I was able to um, figure out the five things that I hate. Okay, so for number five, um, this one kind of revolves around YouTube, and, um, it's, when I, like, go to my own YouTube video, and I want to watch one of my own videos just for the hell bit of it, whenever I watch my own videos, or if I go into video manager and put, like, ads in my videos, it counts as a view. I don't understand why YouTube thinks that if I watch my own video, it counts as a view. Like, I know someone watched it, but they shouldn't count it if I did it. Because, like, like I, I do put ads in my videos. And even when I'm just putting ads in my videos, it counts as a view. And if I want to watch my own video, then it counts as a view as well. So, I just hate the fact that it counts as a view. Because then it gets me so confused. Like, my first video I ever upload to the channel has, like, 120 views. And it's in the, my second... It's in, like, the second column for, um, most popular videos I've ever uploaded. But, like, ten of those views, or maybe even fifteen, were myself. Because back when I first uploaded that video, I didn't know about Video Manager. I didn't know that Video Manager was a thing. And then every time I went to see if there was a comment or a like, I clicked on the video to watch it, to and then scroll down to the comments. And, like, every single time I did that, it counted as a view. So, like... It's sh like, it still would have been more than my third most, but seriously, it always gets me so confused when I watch my own video and it counts as a view. But on to number four, I hate having to wake up in the mornings to go to school. And like, I know everyone would be like, well, Levi, like, during the summer break, they're like, well, Levi, you're just gonna have to get used to it. It's something that you're gonna have to do. And I have been getting a good habit of waking up, taking a shower, get everything ready, and then get my butt out of my house. Um, but I hate having to wake up, because I usually never just get, I never get enough sleep. Like, I'm like what you call a hoot owl. I like, I would just relax in my bed, my, my bed, my bed trying to sleep but like an hour goes by without me even getting any sleep so i usually don't get enough sleep and then my alarm rings like right when i'm having a good dream and i'm like uh just turn it off uh, don't, uh. but yeah i just hate it because it's so miserable having to wake up in the morning to that horrible alarm it's just like you're having a nice peaceful calm little nap and all of a sudden it's just like uh, uh. And on to number three, um, I hate it when a teacher, when you, like, ask a question to a teacher, like, uh, teacher, how do I do this and that, and, like, quadrilaterals equals blah blah blah, how do I do that? And then, this pretty much would only happen to someone who doesn't pay attention that much and who doesn't, uh, really listen in class, but she, she tries to answer your question, but then all the, well, she tries to answer my question, but then, or he, but then all I hear is numbers, 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 equal plus sign, divide by fraction decimals, business, business, science, 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 molecules, plus numbers, blah, blah, blah. That's legit all I hear when she tries to explain the answer to me. I'm just like, speak in English. This probably, the one I just said probably doesn't happen to a lot of you guys, but for me, it happens all the freaking time unless she speaks in English that's how I understand it and for number two and wow I've been really zipping through these ones um for number two I absolutely hate hate it when this happens I hate it when you're about to take a test in school but then you're always super worried when you take a test you guys probably aren't but I'm super worried when I always take a test 
and then you ask a and then you go and ask a teacher, um, excuse me, Miss What's Your Face, what hap what do I do if I don't know the answer to a question? But then instead of telling you a reasonable answer that actually kind of relieves your spirit for a second, all that they say is, oh, just do your best. You're not answering my question, lady. But seriously, like. This could probably go in number one spot. It like, oh, I just, I freaking hate it when they do that. And it happens all the time. And it, it probably could have gone number one spot for this, but the number one, I probably actually do hate a lot more than that. But I just hate it. Next, okay, for any new teachers out there, next time a student asks you when you're when they're about to take a test, um, excuse me, Miss, Miss What's Your Face, what do I do if I don't know the answer to a question? Don't say, oh, just do your best. Cause you're not answering their question. Th th that doesn't ease their spirit at all. They're asking, okay, this is from a student. Th these are words from a student. They're asking you that cause they're worried about the test. D telling them to do their best won't help them at all. It'll just make them worry like, but my best isn't knowing what the answers are. So next time all you teachers out there, Say something like, I don't know, just don't say, do your best. Okay, here, I thought of something. Say this. Next time a student asks you that, say, oh, well, maybe if maybe if you get stuck on a question, um, come and ask me and I might be able to help you on it. Because a lot of times when I'm taking a test, like in a big classroom, there's usually teachers there, like helper teachers, that are out there and gonna help you. I mean, like, sometimes a question you can't get help on, you have to know that with your own knowledge, but it does ease the spirit of the kid a little bit. So if I'm a teacher, when I grow up, I'm never gonna say just do your best. I'm gonna just help them on the stuff I can help them on. And on to number one. Now, okay, every single time someone does this in my presence, all I wanna do is grab their neck and squeeze it. And squeeze it until there's no more air coming out. Rip it out of their neck. Rip their neck out of their neck. Yes, I did just say that. Slam it on the ground, squish it, eat it, poop it out, pick it back up, and show it to them. Show it to them with their head not even attached to their, to their body. It's just like sitting there and they have to like balance it on their, on their whatever the heck this thing is called. And then just show it to them. And just shove it in their face and say, don't ever do this again, okay? And wow, I haven't even said what it is yet. If the number one thing that I hate is when... Okay, so you're sitting like on your bed, I don't know, talking, playing some jokes to each other, and then let's say the guitar's like on your bed, and then your friend wants to like play it or touch it or something, and you're just like, oh, please don't touch it, I really care about that. Please just don't touch it, please just leave it alone. And they're just like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they come like inches from touching it, and then either they, either they would like touch it, like just barely like touch, touch or they'd be like eh, 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 eh. I hate that it's like why do you do stuff that I ask you not to if you come and see me and we like hang out at my house don't ever do that in front of me because it happened to me one time like when I was playing like a video game I was uh, playing Minecraft with one of my friends and then um my friend wanted to like do something in the world on my own map thing and they they were trying to help me even though the way they were gonna try to help me was a really dumb way like I was trying to build something and then they kept saying come on just let me do it I'll do it way I'll do it really well I promise and I was like no please I'm gonna go get a drink just please don't touch anything and then when I come back guess what I see I see my friend holding the controller doing whatever the heck he was trying to do and then he like as I was watching him he was trying to fix everything to make it look like I didn't to make it look like he didn't do anything and I was just like we're not friends anymore but seriously I'm not friends with that person anymore and it wasn't mainly because of that but seriously I'm not gonna be friends with someone like that there's a plane flying by plane Play! Play!
But yes, I absolutely hate that and hate it when people do that and I just hate it. So yeah, that is why I went on my number one list because I want to strangle people who do that. <sighs> but hopefully this video acknowledged you, if that's the right English. Um, what was I say? Yes, hopefully you learned something in this video. Hopefully you now know that if you ever meet me up on the street, never do these top five things. Yes, I did have to write them down. Never do those in front of me, because I will hate you forever and ever and ever. But yeah, this is a fun video to make. <sighs> yes, I hope you now know the top five, five things that I hate. But anyway, thank you everyone so much for watching. I'll see all you guys in the next